I didn't know I was being recorded right now. Oh, you are now. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Uh, let me get my gimbal here set up. My camera. Today, we're going to do a little quick tutorial. Am I recording? Hang on a second. And just tap stop button. Start right recording. Here. Yep. There, now you're huh. recording. Well, he knows more about my new camera than I know about my new camera. All right. Um, we're going to do a little quick tutorial on Monaco. Doing some Monaco. By the way, Monster's recording me right now. <coughs> well, this is just a canopy that uh, goes to my Phoenix 2400. It's uh, for FPV mount. We're going to put a uh, pan and tilt on it. As you can see, it's uh, it's 3D printed, but uh, I think it'll work out good. This mount's designed for the uh, servo to go all the way through. Antenna tube, using a nice Pagoda antenna. Can't see it. Hmm. See it? There you go. Using the Pagoda antenna. I'm not sure who Right there is where I can see both of your hands. Okay. I'm not sure who I got this from, but... Uh, VTX pigtail on it. Either way, that's neither here nor there. That's later on in the build. Um, first thing is don't worry about saving monocoat. You're going to waste monocoat. There's no two ways about it. It's just going to happen. Get a piece that's plenty big enough. Start off, you know, make sure you got plenty of overlap, at least an inch or two. Because you're going to have to do snips and curls and rotate everything. Get you a nice iron. Make sure you got your iron set properly to the right temp. A lot of times on your foam, you want to check the iron on the foam, you know, with a piece of Monaco. Never touch your iron directly to the foam. Uh, man, you end up with a mess. But you want to check the Monaco with the foam and everything. Because you don't want a whole lot of gator skin. We don't really care about that, though, do we? No. And once you get it lined up, touch. As you see, it binds good. Now, right now, I'm a little hot because I'm getting some gator skin. I'll crank it down. But the gator skin doesn't matter too much. I'm trying to rotate here to help. And when you go to do this, don't stay in one place too long. Whatever you do, don't stay in the place too long. Grab it, drop, pull, done. That's simple. It's really that simple, guys. As you see, I got a ton of extra. Found me a pair of scissors. I'm going to make sure I leave an inch or so. Snip it off. Save this piece for later if you want. We end up throwing it away quite often, don't we? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and trim. Yeah, you're going to have to move around to follow me, man, because I ain't used to being on camera. I'm going to trim, and I'm going to trim really wide. Really wide. Huh. One moment, people. Mama calling. Hi, Mama. Her phone ain't ringing. Okay. Well, Monster, you want to take over? Ha. I can't. Mm. Okay, I will be right back. <clears throat> so, yeah, just a little quick tutorial on Monaco. Uh, man, it is a lifesaver when it comes to your airplanes. Uh... Any kind of wreck, it really does extend the life of the plane. <clears throat> He'll be back momentarily. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. That's part of doing a live show, I guess. It's not live. It's just down. It's just streaming. Oh, is it? Yeah. It, it, yeah. We're he just, told me we were live. Now he's lying to me. No, I didn't tell you we were live. I told you it wouldn't let us go live. Okay, here we go. Trimming around the other side. Trimming wide. It's just uploading straight to YouTube as cool. soon as I'm done recording this. And round the corners. There we go. This is scrap junk. Get rid of it. Now I want to go ahead and I want to finish doing my top section man a good iron is indispensable always start in the middle and work your way out helps out a lot 
get this top section here. Now, unfortunately, in a way, planes do not have flat surfaces. Very many. Not very many at all. So, we have to work in cuts. These are just relief cuts. And don't be scared to put in a bunch. Because you're going to do a lot of curling with this. Of course, you see I'm doing around an angle here, so I have to do a lot of snipping anyway. <laughs> Definitely don't be scared of putting the cuts in it. Right. The more you put in it, actually, the easier it is. It's so much easier. So much easier. Monster just learned how to monocoat with me the other day. Yeah, uh, I tried to go with fewer cuts, and it's just one of those things that you really want to put the cuts to it, and it does allow for being able to make your turns and your curves so much easier. And if you do have to put another piece or two of monocoat in, it's really not uh, that that much of a difference in weight. Like if you want to, yeah, if you no want to do something for aesthetics opposed to. Uh, for uh, function, yeah, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything to do it with a couple extra pieces of monocoat in most cases. We're here for function. So my monocoat will have wrinkles. You can count on it. He's more precise than I am. Um, me, myself, I don't care about wrinkles. I'm more worried about durability. You know, I don't buy a car because it looks good. I'm not my wife. I buy a car because it drives good. Well, we're rednecks, so actually we do trucks. But, you know, hey, it's neither here nor there. I like for it to look good as well as function well. Well, we'll worry about the looks later. See, but we never do. <laughs> Have you seen my first wife? <laughs> hey, what else can I say? Um, <laughs> another piece of advice is uh, remember your airflow. This canopy mounts here. This is a nose. Up here's where my prop is. So my airflow is going to come up and across. So I want my laps to lay where the front pieces are overlaying the back pieces. So you always try to start from the rear if you can and work your way toward the front. This is not going to get monocoated on the back. Not a whole lot of durability needed there. You see as I'm just rubbing just little, just one leaflet at a time. That's all it takes. This one around, but one leaflet at a time, and really, you're just wanting to tack them in place because you'll come back and rub them all down. All this excess back here, I'll get cut off, that's not a problem. Something else is when you're uh, still not right. Something else is when you're doing this and you're doing like a wing, do the bottom first, working from the back to the front. And then do the top. That way you don't have a bunch of wrinkles on the top and everything. Or at least not as many, right? Yeah. Uh, I think I did my last one backwards. You did. Yeah. Thought I did. Now here, I don't know if you can tell it or not. I'm not getting any monocoat here. Which is not a problem. Because with these little tabs I nip off, I'm just going to stick a little piece over top of it. Just monocoat weighs nothing. And the stuff I got, I picked it up on Amazon... Uh, it's not monocoat brand or ultra coat brand or anything like that. It's just a, uh, uh, laminate, just straight laminate is what I looked up. Um, I think three mil is about as, about as heavy as you want to go. Uh, on a nitro plane or something, yeah, you could probably go with five mil would hold, you know, just as good or better. So, you know, here I've made all the way around to the front. That side's done. As far as the ceiling. Going back again. Once again, I have a little gap here. Coming on around. And you see the laps, they overlap each other pretty good. Especially whenever you have a curved surface. Just uh, 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 geometry. <laughs> Gee, I'm a tree. All right, all right, all right. So stupid joke. Shut up. He's always on to me, telling me I'm goofy. Yeah. See, got it sealed. 
I mean, really, it's that simple, guys. There's not a whole lot to it. Yeah, I got little wrinkles in it, but guess what? This stuff shrinks. You heat it, you rub across it, it shrinks. It reseals and it starts to come up, and it will come up. It's going to come up continuously. And mind you guys, this iron is really hot. Please be careful. Don't burn yourself. See I get this thing to focus here and show you how hot it does get. Try and get a focus. Yeah, it's not wanting to focus here. Uh, maybe I rub the... You can see on the other. See here in a minute when I do the other side. I'll wait. Right now I'm just trimming one side while he's there we doing go. that. See, it goes up to 442 <laughs> degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, 228 degrees Celsius. I think that's yeah. That should uh, be right. Yeah, that's Sounds right. Sounds about right. Uh, I mean, it's really hot. I've I've caught myself with <laughs> it a couple of times. So is he. <laughs> yeah. Be yeah. careful where you lay it. Um, you know, this is. Uh, Laminate flooring on our tabletop. Yeah, this is our makeshift tabletop. We don't care if we burn it, but it's laminate flooring. I can hold it there. It's fine. Uh, like you say, no, be careful about touching this thing. Also, um, be, be careful about touching your foam afterwards. That foam is hot. Guys, that foam is really hot when you come off of there. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I've already trimmed one side while he was doing that. That's how quick it is. Just going up to the edge. Uh, use exacto blade use your scissors you know whatever and if you got little tabs sticking out don't worry about them too much because we're going to go back and we're going to iron all those back down again as you see though it trims as easy as can be see trimmed it all the way back go ahead and get this little finger hold here probably should use a utility knife on this razor but I'm not going to. You know, see, like right here, see, I got some little pieces sticking up still. See, see how it flipped up? It didn't seal. See, guys? So, not focusing on one place too long. It's tight. It's that simple. Nothing to it. It goes down really tight, really quick. Make sure you always go over it. You'll be going over it again, you know. You're sitting around the house, sitting around the shop. Mess around some RC stuff, you know, thinking, wow, well, you know, I want to go work on something, but I don't know what I want to do today. It's simple. Get down every one of your planes, heat up an iron, kick on some good music, sit back, relax, and just run an iron. That's right, real men iron too. All these little pieces sticking up, just run the iron across it. They re glue, they seal everything now these little corners that we didn't get let's go back to them so i'm going to lay down on the corner kind of hold it here for a second with my hand I hit that corner just a little it's sealed it's tacked on that's sealed down clean off the edges touch it up again just to be safe now that corner sealed let's do the other side just as simple Oh, there's also another point I'm going to bring up here in a moment. It's very important because if you touch it on the wrong side, you are in trouble. <laughs> and believe me, I have screwed up my iron many a time and they're hard to clean. You want to show them the shiny? Okay. Right here, this side right here is shiny. See the... Okay. And then this side is dull okay make sure to never touch your iron to the dull side the dull side has glue on it guys okay so the shiny side you're safe go ahead and touch that right there to the table i'm gonna peel it back Over here up. yeah okay. just go ahead and touch it to the see, table look it's ironed down you see see how it went nice and clear <laughs> that's that's the way your monocoat looks now if you touch it to the other side that sticks to your iron and that glue will stay on your iron you will let your iron cool you will take a razor to it you will take washcloth you will take everything to it it's tight it's tight Let's see how good that stuck down this iron this iron has a coating on it that black now you can see where mine's been worn where i've had to clean it and such 
but it, it's it's that black coating. It's a it's non-stick surface. That's it's all like it is. It's a Teflon coating. Yeah, it's it's Teflon. It's a non-stick surface. All right, guys, look. After you get this done, you noticed I have a hole here for my servo to go into, but I can't get my servo down in that. So it's simple. It's simple. Sit there and giggle, pump. And don't forget your uh, clip on the front. Yeah, I gotta hit the clip and I gotta hit the hole over here in the back for the antenna. Oh, didn't pull. Come on out of there. There we go. And that's it, guys. That is monocoating at its simplest form. Nothing to it. Uh, don't be scared of it, guys. And the durability in the long run, I mean, Okay, he's right. You know, we do worry about the way our planes look. We want to be proud of them. But, let's face it, in the long run, the durability is what matters. You know, your plane's not going to look good if it's laying in a million pieces because you smashed into a fence post. I know from experience. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 uh, uh, where we got the channel from, channel name from, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> but... Look, guys, that's it. It's it's that simple. That's monocoated. That is a lot more stiff than it was. Come back. Do your little touch-ups. You know, you see little bubbles shining around in the light in different angles. You'll see little bubbles, little pieces sticking up. Just hit it real quick with an iron, but don't now, focus on one area too much. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. Right here, towards the tip of my finger, there's a little bit of a bubble. Okay, if you take... Your blade, yeah, pro tip, and just poke it, poke it a couple little times, and then run the iron back across it. It's gone, bubble gone. It's that simple, guys. Nothing to it. Um, maybe next time we'll sit down, we'll do whole wings or something like that. Pretty much everything we own right now is monocoated. Um, some things aren't. Um, I have the uh, Volanix, no it ain't, it's a it's an E-Flight Viper, the jet. It has all the curves and the round areas on it. And uh, with the round fuselage, it, it is a pain. It is a pain because you have to do so many cuts using small strips and everything. Either way, though, it is still very well worth the yes. time and effort put into doing Take it. Take the time. Um, I find it, and I think monster started to learn what i meant by it it's kind of therapeutic it really is you know you sit back like i say you kick on some music and just enjoy it just put it down it's satisfactory either way that's us from uh, uh rectangle rc and we hope you'll subscribe hit that like button really helps us uh like i said we're just starting the channel this is what our second video yep and so you know check us out guys see you later